Find the limit solution. When you're finding limits, the first thing you should always at least mentally do is take this number and plug it in for all the x's. When you do that, you notice that you get 0 over 0, so it doesn't make any sense. So what we have to do in this problem is rewrite this fraction so that we can plug in 0. So one way to do that maybe would be to factor out an x from the numerator. So we have x times 7x squared minus x. It's all being divided by x. The x's cancel, and so now we have limit. As x approaches 0, it's really important to always write the limit sign until you actually plug in the number or take the limit. And now we're at a point where we can plug in 0 for all the x's. So we get 7 times 0 squared minus 0. So we just get 0 minus 0, so the answer is 0. And that's called the limit. That's it.